Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to the Tribe of the Tides, where in the last episode, we took our very first steps with our little webbed feet on this brand new island. I think every single creature in the family at the moment has the webbed feet, don't they? Oh, except for Sila. Okay, she's actually not even part of the family yet because she hasn't had a baby, and we really need to get on that. She only has um, three days left of her life according to this little thing right here. So we really, really need to breed her with somebody very, very shortly, and we'll probably get to that right away. But yeah, look at that. Every other creature on the island has little webbed toes. So they are definitely ready to go hopping down to the shore and hopefully pick up some of these shells, though they do need the cracking ability and ironically the only one with a cracking skill right now is Sila because she has um, those nimble fingers she has the little berry paws actually it's just called the nimble fingers now it's not called the berry paw anymore which makes sense because you can use it for um, not only the shells and the berries but also the acorns you guys have told me that we need the cracking skill to also use um, the acorns in the tree which is a little bit unfortunate for our no pod creatures because that means that they won't be able to uh, gather up the acorns like they did on our last island but our version of Adam and Eve had four babies in the last episode too. And actually, if I could take a look at this little family tree icon down here, I'm sorry that I didn't click on this before. There have been so many changes to the game that I completely forgot to click on this one. But you can see that Adam and Eve had four babies, Rocco, Duke Roro, Laramie, and Kunokir. And we can actually spin their models too. So we can really get like up close and personal to these guys, which is excellent considering that there are so many new genes in here for us to discover that once we um, start unlocking some more, we can get in here and really like spin them around and take a good look at them. But it also looks like it shows us um, the adult version because Duke Roro is definitely not fully grown yet. He is the newest baby in the entire pack. So look at that. Oh, that's really cool. We can see how they're going to look when they're adults. Um, so we have Sila up here too and we really need to breed her because I am not letting her genetics leave us. She is like the most gorgeous creature I've ever seen. Um, the only problem is that she is actually a strong immunity gene F and unfortunately, like, every single male on the pack has F. So whatever baby she has is kind of guaranteed to be sick. And not only that, she actually has hemophilia too. So we have to keep a very close eye on that as well. Um, this little baby back here was actually just born without F, but there's no way that she can wait that long because she will be passing away so soon. So instead, I think what I'll do is probably breed her with Kunokir back here. And it's kind of fitting because he was the one who brought her into the pack originally. He found her off in the grass and he invited her in, and I feel like maybe there's a little bit of a love at first sight connection here, at least for him. Maybe not for her, and maybe that's why she kind of held off for so long, but I guess his charm finally won over. So what we'll have to do is have him breed with her, and then um, she'll have to scoot over to this nest as soon as possible, which means that you, little one, who we're actually going to change the name of, you guys have given me so many names. Oh my goodness, I have the biggest list of names in front of me right now. So thank you for all of your amazing suggestions. And what I think I'm actually going to do, since we played around with um, our first generations for so long already, and a lot of them are actually getting very close to the ends of their lives, I'm actually going to uh, leave those names on them, and we'll start fresh with our newest generation here, one of our newest little babies. So instead of is messy, I'm going to name her Snowflake because of course she has all of that big white fluffy fur and it kind of matches the season too. So to celebrate the season, we'll go ahead and name her Snowflake. Now we definitely want to take a look at our mutation menu before we go ahead with um, this pairing right here. So let's see, I think um, to be safe, we probably want to put the nimble fingers in the 30% slot and also this uh, normal blood clotting in here too, just to be safe because we definitely don't want um, our creatures all ending up with this hemophilia. It's going to make it very, very hard for us later because if they get injured by the carnivores, then they won't be able to stop um, their bleeding. So let's see, we have to have Kunukir come over here, breed with her. Um, the one thing that I am having a little bit of trouble with is that they only have two turns each day now. So it's kind of like their lives are a little bit shorter just in general. Um, typically we would have three turns a day, so even though they have more gems, ironically they can do a lot less in a day than they could before. But we'll let her sit on the nest now, and I guess we should probably start picking up our berries too because um, we're definitely going to need them. Unfortunately, Eve and Adam are both going to be passing away at the end of this turn. They both only have one more day left of their lives, which is really, really sad. Um, Eve, I guess you should scoop up these berries. Um, you're unfortunately going to be passing away 
stay right next to your last son. At least he'll have his sister though. His sister can watch over him and in fact she should probably come right over here and start peeking in some of this grass. And Adam. Adam actually has the short-sighted eyes which is why he has some trouble seeing in the darkness over here. Typically our creatures will be able to see a little bit farther than that so that's another one of those um kind of like sneaky little genes that we're really going to have to make sure we're breeding out of the pack. Um, I have noticed that we're having a little bit more trouble with the no paw than usual, so hopefully we can do something about that pretty soon too. But let's see, why don't we just have Adam pick these berries right here? Um, we should probably actually have Nukuku breed again with Rocco. I mean, it's not the ideal situation for her because unfortunately she does get harmed when she breeds with him, and because we don't have access to those healing fruits that we do on the harder islands, she's actually just going to have a shortened lifespan just because she loves a porcupine, which is very, very sad sad for her. But let's see, we'll have him uh, try breeding with her. Yeah, it still harms her. Some of you guys asked if maybe it would um, work differently if he bred with her, but it still definitely harms her, and it takes off a whole day on her life. Oh my goodness, that is so sad. Um, unfortunately, she's going to have to wait one more turn before she can actually um, use any of the nests. So we'll just have them start picking berries for now. Um, Nukuku, you could actually come over here and pick up these for us. There we go. I mean, it's not much, but at least it's something. And then she only has one more turn anyway, so we'll just go ahead and skip the day. And unfortunately, that is going to be the end of Adam and Eve. Oh my goodness, that is so sad. But they brought the rain. Oh my gosh, they brought the rain and a little panda baby. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> and her name is Kois too. We will probably change that, but her name is Kois. And we've had so many creatures with that name in all of our islands. Oh my gosh, the panda patterns and that beautiful, like almost pinkish fur because um, she has the red and the gray, just like her mother. Thankfully, she has kept the red horn colors, but um, she doesn't have any horns to actually show them with. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring that out a little bit more because I have no Notice that most of our creatures are being born without the horns right now. So we really need to get Animeme's blessing back in the pack. And look at that! She actually is not sick. And she doesn't have hemophilia either. Um, it is possible that maybe they could have another baby. I wonder if they could. Um, he would have to scoot down here really, really fast. Um, let's see. If we move her as far as possible, and then we move Kunokir right here. Um, oh no. Oh no, because she has to use her turn to breed with him. Okay, so she has, let's see, two more days. So it is possible that she could give birth to one more baby before she passes away, like on the same turn, unless they've changed that because we have had that happen before. So let's have her breed with him again. Oh my goodness, who are you? Who are you? You are gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at her. Her name is Rear Two, which is another one of those creatures who we've had in previous islands. Oh my goodness, she is gorgeous. We definitely need her in the pack. And we can actually invite her right away with Nukuku. Um, is that going to harm her though? Will that harm her by interacting with just our spiky creature? Let's see if it will. Okay, no, thankfully, thankfully it didn't harm her. Just saying hello was not enough to harm her, but now she's in our pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need to figure out our names too before I forget about this. We need to name our little baby. And I think naturally because she has the panda patterns and she has that reddish fur, we are actually going to name her Meme. In recognition of all of those creatures on our previous islands, she's not quite an anime of course because she doesn't have those uh, ram horns, but she is quite similar to um, some of our previous memes on previous islands. So I think that'll be a nice way to remember them. And then this one back here. Oh my goodness, look at you. That uh, pink fur is definitely very, very dominant on this island, which is interesting. But let's see, what should we name you? Why don't we go with um, Flora? One of you suggested Flora, and that would be nice because she does have the berry paw again, so she'll probably be spending most of her time by all of these bushes. And maybe she could start a little line of like creatures who are named after um, different types of flowers and plants. You guys have given me a lot of names um, around that general theme, so that should be fun to do. And we'll have to figure out who she can breed with as well. Let's see, H and G. H and G, how does that look in the rest of our pack? Um, we have I and F there. Though unfortunately, I mean, he's gonna be passing away pretty soon. It might not even be worth it to breed with him. And we don't really wanna shorten her lifespan either. I mean, she only has six days as it is. That would probably not be a very good idea. So um, we could possibly breed her with, oh no, he has a G, so that wouldn't be a good idea. B and G. 
Um, so we also have him over here, A and F, Kunuk here. I mean, maybe he could take on another mate. She does kind of actually look like Sila. So in a way, once she passes away, he might be remembering her in her image. That might be an idea. But let's see, we do need to figure out how um, we're going to shuffle around everyone in the nests. So we definitely don't want Rocco to come over here and use this nest because then Sila won't be able to on her very last turn. So she's going to have to wait. Um, instead, she can come over here and use um, some of these berries. There we go, because we're definitely going to need berries if we're having so many babies. And Flora, what can we do with you? Let's have you come over here and pick up all of these berries for us. There we go, all of them. Pick the entire bush clean. Thankfully, she doesn't have the no paw, so at least there's that. And um, she doesn't even have the hemophilia, at least a strong hemophilia. She does have one of the genes, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But look at that, she has the cracker jaw. Oh my gosh, she has the cracker jaw hidden away in her genetics too. That is excellent. I really want to work on um, possibly getting the cracker jaw soon because then we could have them sit down here and um, pick up all of those shells. But let's see, we want um, Laramie to scoop up some of the berries too, I believe. Or maybe she should peek in the grass just to make sure that we're safe because we do have all of these little babies over here and um, Nukuku can pick up the berries instead. There we go. And then we have this one over here, Snowflake. You can pick up our berries as well. Um, we should probably start changing her gems over too. So we'll make the top one orange just like her father. And then when she gets um, her bottom gem, or is that technically her bottom gem right now? I think it might be her bottom gem. But when she gets all of them, we'll make sure that um, her second one is also orange. And I think that's all of our turns except for this one. Um, I guess you can scoot out of the nest right there. There we go. Just to clear it out for Sila. And then let's cross our fingers that this actually works. Um, I think it should. I think she'll be able to give birth unless they've changed it. So let's have Sila sit right here and then she can actually scoop up some berries with her last turn. Um, there we go. And let's just cross our fingers that this all works out. Um, I suppose you should pick up your berries right there and we can actually have Rocco pick up these. Um, maybe she should also scoot to the nest. We need a meme, a little meme to scoot over here so that she has room. And then um, she can dive straight into this nest right here. Um, if we clear out all of this grass over here, then we should be very, very safe. And then um, on this side too, because I vaguely remember that um, we did see some rustling grass over here, but we never found what it was. I mean, I guess it could have been Flora. I guess she could have been scooting around there too. I mean, I don't really like that she's so far away. Oh, she has the short-sighted eyes too. That's not going to be good. That's why she can only see um, the tiles right around her because she has um, trouble seeing far away. So we definitely want to have somebody up there so that she doesn't get ambushed. In fact, let's have Nukuku sit up here with her just in case, just to keep her safe. And then we'll pick all of these berries in the meantime. I um, mean, I think that's about it. That's about all that we can do in this turn. So let's go ahead and skip the day and hope. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work at all. Oh, that is so sad. She actually didn't give birth to her baby. She died before she could. So it's kind of like she died during childbirth too. And look at all of these little panda babies. Oh my gosh, this one looks even more like Anna Meme. Though unfortunately, we're still missing those ram horns. But other than that, she's actually really, really good. Immunity gene B and I. I mean, that's not bad at all. She has the normal eyes, so she won't have to worry about the um, short-sightedness. And she does have a um, gene of normal clotting too, so she should be okay as um, one of our warriors, I suppose. I mean, she does have the claws, so that'll definitely help us out. And you know, I think I'm actually going to swap their names around a little bit because this one definitely looks more like a meme. So let's go ahead and name her meme instead, and then we'll come over here and name her, let's see, Strawberry. Somebody mentioned Strawberry, and she does look like a little strawberry herself because she has that pinkish fur. So I think that'll be a little bit more um, suited to her instead. She actually looks like a chocolate dip strawberry almost with um, her panda pattern so that'll be really cute and then we have our little beast over here meme instead so there we go and once we do get a creature with the panda patterns and the ram horns again then we can officially name her after Anna meme which should be quite nice um, but now we need to figure out how we're going to breed these two before she gets too old. I mean, poor Kunukir has been cursed with falling in love with these females who are just so close to the ends of their lives. Um, let's see, if we change around the genes a little bit, because we probably don't need to worry about the normal blood clotting as much. Um, instead, what could we put in here? Maybe the cracker jaw? Let's try the cracker jaw too, because if we can possibly get a couple of babies with the cracker jaw, then we could start working on a line from shell collecting. So let's see, I guess we would want to bring Flora down here because she is going to need to get to the nest. We'll bring Kunukir up here, he can breed with her, and then she can sit straight in this nest over here. And then she can actually gather up the berries too, so not bad at all. Um, let's see, we probably want, oh my gosh, no, he's going to die too. 
oh my goodness, they're all passing away. Um, he can at least pick these berries and then um, do Grow Row. Why don't you go ahead and peek in the grass for us with your two turns? And um, we do need to change your gem over to Snowflake. There we go. Um, they didn't add any new colors. Somebody asked if they added any new colors to the gems, but they're all the same. So we only have three colors still, the um, green, the orange, and the blue. Um, we do need to move Rocco out of the nest so that her baby can grow. So we'll sit her right there so that she can um, just keep her protected. And then I suppose Snowflake, you should probably do the same by coming over here. And poor little Strawberry is just sitting in the middle of this, just staring up the rain, totally confused on what she's supposed to do. But we'll leave her right there because she only has one turn anyway. Anyway, and we'll go ahead and skip. Oh my gosh, our poor little porcupine. I feel so bad for him. But look at that. We have yet another panda baby. Another one. There are so many pandas in this. I mean, I guess it makes sense because we did start with a panda creature of our own. Um, but unfortunately, she does have the no paw. Though I love that she has the pure gray fur. Oh my goodness, she actually looks like a little panda. Um, she has the fluffy tail too, so she didn't get the swimming tail of her mother. But thankfully, she also has the uh, normal blood clotting and the normal eyes as well. And she has the cracker jaw sitting away in um, her genetics too. So hopefully we can still pull that out pretty soon to make our little shell crackers. But let's see, since Flora is her mother, we'll pick another one of those um, plant-related names and we'll name her Lily. There we go, I think that'll be nice for her. Um, and since she doesn't have the berry paw, she won't really be doing much collecting, unfortunately, but she can still kind of like roam the land and just try to find um, more berries for us to actually gather from. But let's see, why don't we actually have them breed again since she is getting very close to the end of her life? Um, we'll bring her right over here. He can breed with her again, and then um, we can scoot this little baby. How about right over here? That would probably be a good spot for her, and then she can go ahead and sit in the nest. And then um, let's just expand now. Um, we do have plenty of food so we don't have anything to worry about there. We just need to um, gather up the couple of berries that we have left and then we can um, expand the grass over this way. In fact, Rocco, why don't you jump straight over here? Oh my goodness, another berry bush, perfect. So there's another bush that we can use to uh, sustain our population and do grow row. We do need to figure out what we're going to do with you. Um, for now, why don't you come up here, peek up here, and hope that nothing comes out and jumps at you? I mean, we don't want him to get hit by any carnivores either. But let's go ahead and skip the turn again. Um, nobody's passing away, right? Nobody, thankfully, but we do have a lovely rainfall. And Snowflake, oh, Snowflake, I didn't realize that you were sick. Oh no, we have somebody over there too. And this gorgeous baby, Rala. Oh my goodness, she has the nimble fingers. There we go. She does have the short-sighted eyes though. So she's going to have a little bit of uh, trouble seeing just like her mother. She is gorgeous. We have another little tiny snowflake here too. Let's go ahead and pick another one of those flower related names though. And I think we'll actually name her Daisy. There we go. She looks like a little daisy, doesn't she? If she had um, those yellow eyes, she would look even more like a daisy, just like uh, Laramie over here, who we also need to find somebody to breed with. Maybe this will be a male? I mean, that would be excellent if it was. Um, how are we on strength though? I think at the moment Meme is like the strongest creature in the pack because we have lost all of our ram horns. Oh, that is not good. We definitely need to find um, some more ram horns pretty soon. We'll probably put it in the mutation menu actually, just so that we can um, have stronger creatures and a stronger chance of surviving too. So let's have Snowflake jump in here. Oh my goodness. What was that? What was that? That was definitely not one of the wandering males because they can't spawn on this island, but he was so fast. Um, Rocco, you only have two days left of your life, and I don't exactly want to go chasing that guy, do I? Oh my goodness, maybe I do. Look at you, sir. Look at you. You have the ram horns. <laughs> he has the spit snout too, but he actually has the ram horns. Oh, look at that. Um, unfortunately, again, he has F. So the males definitely do seem to be stuck with the F gene. And he does have hemophilia too, but we do need to take him into the pack. So let's see, we'll have Rocco invite you. There you go, where was he even going? Like he was scooting off toward um, the shore here. I don't think you're going to want to do that. You certainly don't have the uh, water body so you can't breathe underwater. You know, I think we'll actually go ahead and keep his name, Kirkuvan. I mean, it's kind of cute and it's not like he was born into our pack anyway. So we'll just let him keep his name. He has the berry paw too, or the nimble fingers rather. So that means that he could actually collect from these right? If we stick him over here, then he can gather up from these shells. Oh my goodness. So you will be very helpful to us just for that, I think. He could actually um, just scout the shore for us. Since he has um, the normalized too, he would have a little bit of an easier time than like Flora if she was down there. So we'll have him stay over here and uh, maybe we should actually station 
maybe like strawberry down here too so that she can help at least um, pick these out for him. So we know that there's another one right here that he can safely gather. And maybe if we bring like even another one down here, like little Lily, she could sit down here too because um, she doesn't have the berry pot either. She can come down here and uh, find yet another one of these shells. So all of these shells have been spawning for us while we've been um, away from the shore. But poor Flora, you only have a couple days left of your life and we are not going to risk it with the baby again because we know that's not going to work. So instead she can spend her days just picking the berries for us to uh, give us a little bit more food sitting in our stalks. And Snowflake, you can peek in the grass right there. We can have Kunuk here pick up some of these berries, though unfortunately it's not going to be much because he still has the no paw and um, Laramie as well. We definitely need to find her somebody because I don't want to lose those eyes. Those are those special eyes that only appear through a random mutation, so we're not going to let her um, slip away from us either, just like Sila before. But let's move um, you right here just to get ready for the next day so that he can pick up these shells. And I think that's it, so we'll go ahead and skip the turn. Um, there we go. Some of them grew up and nobody actually passed away, right? I think everybody's still there, so that's good to see. Um, let's have you pick up this one, and then you can scoot way over here to start picking up the rest of the shells pretty soon. Um, let's see. I don't want to move the babies too far down the shore because I also don't want them getting attacked. So instead, Laramie could come over here and just, like, help us out by peeking around. And there's another berry bush! Another one! Right by the edge, too. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven berry bushes, including this one way up here. And I think there may be another one out here somewhere that I um, forgot to click on. So we have quite a bit of food here and quite a bit of um, opportunity for us to hopefully expand our population too. Safely anyway. Oh, wait a second. You know what? Meme would be perfect for him, wouldn't she? She has B and I and he has um, F and A. So there we go. That would be good. And it would be perfect too, because that gives us a very good chance of hopefully getting the ram horns on a panda baby, right? I mean, he doesn't have the panda pattern, so maybe it would be a little bit harder to pass, but it's getting us just a little bit closer because we do need to have the ram horns back in the pack. So once she grows up, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, oh my gosh, is there something rustling back there? I think there was. Yes, there is. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so we need somebody up there to help um, poor little Duke Roro. Um, Snowflake? Maybe she should get up there? I mean, the thing is, is that most of these creatures have a really poor stat and strength. So they're not really going to be able to help him out very much if there is a problem. Um, and I think we're just going to have to like watch whatever it is. Just watch it very closely to make sure it doesn't um, come out and attack him. And unfortunately, it's not moving either, so it might not even be a bunny. Um, let's have Snowflake pick these berries for now, and then we'll have um, actually Flora pick these. This is her last turn too. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to miss her. She is gorgeous. We should probably change her gems over to blue as well. Though for her and her children, we'll do um, the side gems as blue. There we go, just so we can tell them apart a little bit. And I believe we'll actually want to start changing Strawberry's gems over and Memes as well, so we don't forget about that. And then of course, little Lily. Oh my gosh, she is adorable, isn't she? I wish she didn't have that no paw. If it was a berry paw, then she would be very, very helpful for us. But for now, she can just scout around. Um, and let's see, I think that's about all that we can really do. I think that might be just about it. We could move the little baby Daisy over here to kind of light up the way, but let's just watch this grass. Let's just make sure it's not a carnivore. I did hear something very suspicious. Oh man, um, we need somebody to come over here. Oh, oh gosh, and poor Flora, she passed away too. We need somebody to uh, come over here so that he can escape if he needs to, but let's see. Oh, it was a bunny. Oh my gosh, it was just a little bunny. You had me so scared. Um, I do think there might be a carnivore out here somewhere though. I'm a little bit worried because I'm pretty sure I heard some grumblings. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye out for some more rustling grass and oh my goodness, Rocco! Rocco, you passed away too! That is not good! Okay, so we definitely need to work on the population here. We definitely don't want everyone passing away on us. Um, Meme? Oh, your name actually changed. Okay, hang on a second. Meme, that's your name. I must have clicked on it by accident while um, I was moving the camera. But let's see, Meme. Um, she has just a couple more days until she'll be fully grown. So we'll just uh, wait for her and I think he'll be fine. Yeah, he has 13 days left of his life, so he'll be fine waiting just a little bit longer. Um, For now, he can come over here, pick up his shells like usual. Um, yeah, I do wish that they had that extra third turn because they do seem to have like a lower lifespan than um, they did before just because of that. And Duke Roro, we're actually going to leave you there with your one extra turn just so that you can hopefully snag that bunny. Um, Let's peek in this grass right here and keep a very close eye on that bunny in the grass. That means there must be a burrow up here too somewhere. 
So we probably want to explore um, all of this area pretty soon too. I mean, we do want to clear out the tree as soon as possible anyway. Um, let's go ahead and pick up the berries this way. There we go. There's that little bunny. All right, so we can pick up his meat on the next turn. We can pick up these and this as well. And then um, I believe we just have this bush left. And this little baby is unfortunately just a little bit too far away. But if she sits here, then she can light up the area a little bit more for us. And um, strawberry, maybe you could come this way so that we can um, just keep an eye on the shore and this berry bush as well. And we'll see if um, any more of those clam shells pop up for us. Lily can come over here and peek here. There's one. There is one. So she found another one that she can kind of like mark off for Kirkuvan to come over and pick up. And um, we'll grab this berry as well. And I think that's good. I think that's about it. So we'll skip the turn. Um, I don't see any rustling grass yet. Yeah, still no rustling grass. So let's pick up our uh, little bunny meat before we attract any predators over here with it. And then we'll have him... Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, he's going to use both of his turns just to get over to this clamshell. Oh, and look at that. We have, um, this little kelp down here, too. This little seaweed. Oh, that's cute. Um, is that actually where the fish spawn, maybe? Maybe that's what that's for? Unfortunately, we can't go any deeper because then he'll suffocate. So until we have either the, um, water body or the gills, they're going to have to stay on this little stretch of land right here. But, um, yeah, he'll have to pick that up on the next turn, unfortunately. Um, and I still don't see any rustling grass, right? There's still no rustling grass here. I am very, very worried that we're going to run into um, some more carnivores because it has been a while. Let's at least have Strawberry pick up some of these berries. Um, we have all of these berries to pick up and unfortunately a very, very big shortage on the berry paws. Um, Daisy could at least come over here and help her um, father out because she has the berry paw, so that'll be at least a little bit of a help. But look at all that food, 50 pieces of food. Oh my goodness, I mean, we can definitely sustain a much higher population than what we have now. We just need to get some proper mates in the pack. I mean, at the moment, we're actually pretty low on males. We have um, Duke Roro, who is unfortunately related to like every single one of these females here. And then um, Kirkuvan, who we just need to wait for a meme to grow up for. So in the next episode, hopefully we can have them start breeding and make like a little line of them, um, our ram horned warriors again, because we definitely need some stronger creatures, especially before we think about possibly moving islands. Um, I know there's a lot more for us to explore off on these different islands, so it's going to be pretty fun once we do get up there. And then of course, we still need to continue trying to get our cracker jaw and um, maybe actually that water body too. If we could stick them both on the creatures, then that would help them because they could go just a little bit deeper into the water. Um, they wouldn't be able to sleep there because they still need the gills to uh, stay in the water overnight. But I think that might be a good idea for um, a separate line of the family. We just need to figure out who it's going to be with. We definitely need some more uh, unrelated females in that case. But I think that's about it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!